Take a look at the Jennifer Mowers Slate and Ivory black and white presets. There's 10 of them for Adobe Lightroom based on Adobe Standard. All right, she has these awesome tools for clear all and clear grain, which people super like ask for all the time on black and white presets. If they don't like the grain, this gives them one button to clear it all. Okay, this is the artsy one. And this is a photo by Samantha Smith Arroyo. Uh, she's a photographer out of California. This is the bold one. This is the classic. Dramatic. Which looks nice. The elegant one. Has an awesome low contrast feel. The hip one. Getting rid of all the highlight detail, the moody one, the old one, the romantic one, and the vintage one. So overall I think this is a, a great package of 10 different black and white looks. They're all fairly unique uh, with respect to each other. Um, it covers most of the bases of different black and white presets that are available out there right now and what looks people are usually editing towards. Uh, let's just talk about a few of the details. Um, pretty much the majority of the black and white preset, of course, is going to be in this basic slider bar up here and then in the tone curve. And when I was looking at these tone curves, most of them looked super normal, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, I did notice on the old one where the tone curve goes up right here in this like highlights area right before it goes to the whites and then it drops back down and clips at the end and I'm always wary of that sort of shape because it causes an issue sort of like this right here in the background where it will cause a halo because it's making this area brighter than the part of the image detail the image data that's supposedly brighter in camera so it gives you these sort of halos on the highlights, but that's okay. Um, other than that, everything looked super, super standard. Let's look at it on some more work. Okay, artsy one, gorgeous. Like there's nothing I would change there. It's a beautiful black and white. The bold one, looks like it has just slightly less contrast. Um, brought down the highlights and midtones a little bit. The classic one, just boosted the midtones. Dramatic, and you can see how it's it's really bringing down this lights area. Elegant, nice lower contrast. Oops, the hip, and I I, I dig this look in most cases. I don't know if it's working for this image with the light situation, but it's beautiful. The moody one looks awesome. The old one. And this this right here in the highlight, that might be that, that issue I was telling you about in the tone curve again. The romantic one. And the vintage one. Cool. So good. So artsy. The hip. Beautiful. Here's one of my photos, Big Sur Artsy, bold. I like how this one brings back the highlights in this image. Classic, elegant, dramatic. The elegant is so nice, the, the total lack of contrast makes this high contrast scene even out so nicely. Probably a bit much in this case, but just not the right situation for it. Moody. Brought back the mid-tone detail on their skin tones there. Romantic. And old. There's the halos in the old one again. And look on the rocks, you're getting that issue. 
I would probably just take this point. I would take this point on the curve, and I would just bring it up right there instead of having it go down. See what it's doing? It's 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 darkening areas that you don't necessarily want to be darker than the area before it. Just want a nice flat curve. Awesome. Okay, back to this one. Let's go artsy. The artsy one is honestly just an amazing go-to black and white. It works on practically every image I've tried it on. It's so strong. I really want to see the low contrast one in this, the uh, elegant. That's beautiful. And we'll see how the hip one looks. It's a bit much for the scene. <laughs> Alright, let's look at Iceland. Artsy. Old. Classic. Gorgeous. Dramatic. Elegant. Hip. Moody. Old, romantic, and vintage. One thing, I was looking at the the moody one. No, the hip one. And you're getting just a ton of contrast in their skin tones here. But with the moody, it evens that out nice. Alright, let's look at a brighter situation. Gorgeous. The artsy one is my favorite of this pack. It's so useful. Hit. <laughs> ah. Here we are again with the old one. I would, yeah, just watch the highlight areas. Make sure you're not getting any gray spots that you don't want. Beautiful. It is hard to go wrong with this preset. It is fairly gorgeous. Alright, here's some photos from Matt and Tish. Dreamy. The bold one. This highlights, I'd probably bring that highlight area back. Classic, dramatic, elegant, hip, moody, old, romantic, and vintage. And I think the one, the person I'd go with here is the artsy one again. Let's look at the shot in the nice doorway light. It's perfect. Just one click, you're done. Don't change anything else. Good to go. Wow. So I, I think this preset pack is worth the money just for this this one preset alone. It works over everything. Um, I haven't found a photo that I don't like it on. And these other included presets are fun to play with, fun to look at, see if you like a different look. Like in this one, the, the hip one really works in this, this low contrast scene. Um, romantic. And the vintage. Cool. Gorgeous. Just look at these skin tones. So beautiful. So classic. Okay, one more here. 
that's where I would go. Just can't get better than that. I feel like this one needs lower contrast. Let's see what the elegant one looks like. Yeah. Beautiful. Tiny little A-frame in the woods. Desert scene. And some indoor action. I think I like the elegant one the most on this. I'm going to just brighten it up a little bit. It's pretty. And I also liked, I believe it was the moody. I know it was the old. Yeah, the old one in this worked well. On this one, you can see with the curve that there wasn't that much highlight information that's being brought back, and it pushed a lot of the highlights up into the whites. And it kind of gives this photo a nice look. So that's an overview of the Slate and Ivory black and white presets, and keep reading the rest of the review. Thanks.